Because just my look, somebody say, yo, what time is it? Damn it! I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> Career finish. That's when you pull out the cell phone. That's when you pull out the cell phone. If I pull out the cell phone and you ask me what time it is, that means I can't tell time. So uh, I'm, it's not a good look for, oh a, guy, for a guy. Nah, but we, we, had, we had a really good time. Thank you. Um, you know, Ron, Bobby Jans, they had the little oh, section yeah. for the Yak Radio fam. You know, we had a little VIP section, so that was mm. cool. But it was it was really nice. I enjoyed myself. Um, and then Sunday we had you know Mr. Bossman Clay. Shout out to him. Had a you know a little Yak Radio family barbecue. We so turned up. You know I didn't realize we have a lot of people on this radio station. We had a lot of um, shows that people don't realize, and we don't get to meet everybody. So. Sunday was a good day. Like I finally got to meet Jane B, um, who's on Wednesdays on uh, what from three to five over the hump. So energetic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love her show. Like I try to her and um, Butter Love. I try to tune into them. Haitian Lover came through. Will came through. Willa Bella. Um, who else? It was like, oh, Hollywood, shout out to you. Yeah, Hollywood, to his to girl. Each and every Saturday. Uh, yeah. Three to five, they got that. Um, I actually stopped through. It. I actually stopped by. Yeah, you just crashed their uh, whole. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Shout out to them. I didn't mean to, but, um, you know, just happened to stop by. Because that's what you do. Every now and then, yes. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, shout out to all our Yak Radio family, um, Lady Chase, Lady Vixen. Oh, gosh, we had so much fun. We was yeah, turned yeah. up, all the way up. Oh yeah, it was, it was, it was, I mean, I was definitely mixing, I'm definitely feeling it now. How did I survive work today? I don't know how. Yeah, I don't know, because you were still there, and I had to force myself to leave. I didn't want to yeah, go, but. like, it was, it was, I mean, I found myself having a hard time to drive home, and I was only 15 minutes away, <laughs> and I was just, damn. But that's, that's, you was, you was, you was sipping on that El Dorado? Yes, yes, that $400 bottle that uh-uh. uh, Mr. Clay busted open. Look, I can, and I can hang a shot off In the store, $400, uh-huh. crazy. Wow. Crazy, levels, <laughs> levels. Not my level, but levels, <laughs> definitely some levels. Nah, but I was, you know, we definitely turned up this weekend. This was a big weekend, but I really enjoyed myself. Yo, I'm real talk, I have to turn down this weekend all the way down. I'm working this weekend, and I gotta just, like, save money, because <laughs> we turn up so many weekends back to back to back, and I'm gonna keep it real. I'm, I'm, I'm a working man. I have bills, mm-hmm. and I'm just gonna turn down this weekend. Just, just you can't turn up every weekend, I right? People yeah, are just I mean, lying. You know, know, sometimes you have to just Netflix it and just relax and yeah, that's, just, that's, that's just chill to do. That's chill good to do out, every you know? now and then. Yeah, Listen to music to like this. You know what I mean? And just do your own thing in the mirror at home, you know what I mean? No in the mirror, so you be watching yourself in the mirror? 
Sometimes you gotta make sure you do the dances on point. <laughs> when I come okay. out there and I do my shot money, I gotta make sure my uh, shot money is uh, on point. I'm not gonna point. front. Every now and then, you know, you do that. If there was a mirror around, you know, you gotta little, you do a little practice, make sure you're getting it in right. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, all right. So, Yes, we did have a good weekend, but of course, um, you know, oh, yeah. I oh, need yeah. to get that out there right quick. We about to set it off. You about to set it I off. I think right? I need to set it off. Let's get this popping right quick. Here we go. Oh yeah. Every week, every <laughs> week, every week. And you know, I, I want the day to come where I don't have to set it off. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> You know what? My Listen, bad. and and to all the people, the new listeners, this is not. This is more like a venting session. Yeah, okay. <laughs> and it, I speak for the people because it's not just me. All right. But I just come across some situations where people do some really annoying things, and um, or things that happen. Okay, so mm-hmm. the first thing. Wait, before I get into the set it off. Okay. I have to shout out. Okay. Now I normally don't. I don't want to. I'm not discriminating, but to all my white people, <gasps> AKA oh. snowflakes, because <laughs> oh. we have some people in Maine right now listening to us. So I just wanted to shout them out because oh, okay. I told okay. them. No, I told them that I would. I told them that I would. And so, I just happened to be playing the VH1 music what? today. Oh my yeah. god! So that was awesome. Nice. <laughs> Awesome, yo. Yeah, radio. We showed up to everybody. It's awesome. all good. It's all good. Yes. So here we go. <sighs> all right. So you ever, you ever um, go to like a restaurant or like a drive-through and you order something, and when you drive away, you re- realize that they gave you the wrong damn freaking order, Ooh. yo. Ooh. All right. I'm talking about me this morning. Okay. Okay, but this has happened before. So you know, I went to Dunkin' Donuts. Mm, Not that, that I should have been in anywhere. I just went to. Health. I just went to get a. You know, very healthy. But no, I just went to get a bagel. <laughs> just I kept it simple. But I wanted a donut. I was craving a donut. So I told the heifer behind the counter. I said I want a glazed donut. All I wanted was a glazed donut. Yes. Okay. With, with the with the stuff on it. Yeah. Well, sugar, whatever. Yes. Okay. So you know, I get back to the office. I look in the bag, it's a friggin' cinnamon donut. How the hell does glaze sound like cinnamon? Does glaze, that don't even sound nowhere near comparison. Glaze, cinnamon, How, does that, could, could you even mistake that? You went, you went to the drive-thru. Right? No, oh, you I was in. inside the store. Nah, I gotta blame you on that one. Now, how do you know because like, why? It's not my fault. I mean, because I didn't look the bag. I asked for a glaze. No. And I was waiting for the bagel. No. And I'm like, okay. They well, grab the donut in front of you. I was paying. I was I was paying for it, so I wasn't paying attention to to what she put in the bag. But I was pissed. I was like, "Damn it, man! You just messed up my whole morning." <laughs> because my freaking donut was the wrong one. But I ate it anyway. But that's besides the point. I gotta set it off to pick up on that too. And it's crazy because ever since I moved out to this new location, I'm not gonna say where because you know we we got a family. But um, ever since I moved to this new location, I've hit up three fast food joints and I don't want to go to the fast food but because I have a three month old child it's hard for me to get out the car grab the kid right, come right, in right. So right. I, I try to look for the drive through but I always try to do the healthy stuff the salads and stuff that's what yeah, I'm at sure, right now yeah, sure. uh-huh. and I'm getting the drinks I'm getting the fruit punch I got Dr. Pepper on the second time I got Sprite yo they didn't change the syrup bags I'm drinking nothing but like Ew. like flavored like colored water or like salsa and I, like, I'm so tight because I'm like sometimes I'm extra thirsty or sometimes I like the ice in my drink so I get a large because I like the ice mm-hmm. and I'm getting home and it's watered down and I already like changed and you know took my shoes off I'm, I'm relaxed I'm eating <laughs> and now I and got a freaking baby syrup. with me and now I got I got no <laughs> no sweetness in my yeah. drink and I'm tight Yo, but I really wanted to, I contemplated driving back, right? Yeah, yeah. I swear, I wanted to drive back, but I was like, damn it, I'm going to be late for work if yeah. I drive back. But, you know, just, I guess this is a lesson to everybody. Just check your food. But sometimes you can't always check. For real. But check your stuff before you drive away from the drive through because then you'd be like me wanting to go back and yeah, they just, us. you know, for real, though. <clears throat> okay, we're moving on. All right. So this is a work-related situation about elderly people. Now, no offense, 
no offense to the elderly people, everybody, you know, we all gotta get old one day. But listen, you come up to the counter, right? Yo, she is like, you're literally right in front of my face. I'm talking to you. She's like, excuse me, I can't hear you. Yo, literally, she was right up on my, in my face, right? So I'm trying to talk louder without, because now I feel like I'm screaming. So I guess she had a hearing problem, right? So I'm, you know, she goes to the waiting room patient and I hear her complaining, you know, every doctor's office I go to, you know, they just really need to speak up. Well, maybe you need to go get a damn hearing aid. That's, maybe that's what you need to do because it can't be everybody else. She's like, you know, she's just complaining about every single doctor's office that she goes to. <laughs> So that might be a sign to you. You might want to go get that checked out. You know, there's something called a hearing aid. They can yes. help you. Oh, All right. So yes. don't come in and try to like, you know, blame me because you can't hear. That's I'm sorry. That's that wasn't my fault. All right. So I just no seriously. <laughs> I mean, I mean sometimes it's unfortunate, but I mean, yeah, it is. It's not, I'm sorry. It's just not my problem if you can't hear. Oh. Like, don't blame me, and then I, now I gotta scream. And everybody next door gotta hear me talking to you, even though you like right up in the fi in my face, like about to jump over the counter. Like you already over the counter, like right here. And she's like leaning all the way over, and I'm uh, like, she, she was probably trying to kiss you. That's what I thought. <laughs> for a second, I'm like, okay, well you need to back up for a second. Oh man. All right, but I'm sorry, but you know, woman, whoever you are, or just you know, tell a friend to tell a friend. If you are hard of hearing, they have doctors for that. All right, go, you know, get a hearing aid. They cover that, especially well, if you have Medicare. Mean. No, I'm not mean. I'm just, it's the truth. <laughs> Listen, I know people think it, and I just say it for them. Okay, I'm not the only one. All right, let's move on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sorry. Mm -hmm. Now, um, all right, Jerry, I'm shouting you out now so you can go ahead and walk tight in because <laughs> I have to, when we get into the topic, oh, by the way, yes, the topic, um, yeah, let's introduce that. Yeah, when you break up with your ex, do you remain friends with their family? That's the topic. And um, Jerry, he put something on Instagram, and I want to read it a little later when we get into it, but yes, yes. it was really funny. So, <clears throat> shout out to you, Jerry. All right, now, this last little set it off thing. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Mama's voice. Oh. I'm sorry, but here we go. Okay, I work in the health field and a lot of times we get phone calls from these dudes mothers. Now my thing is, if you are 30 years old, all right, I don't understand why you got your mom calling the doctor's office for you. You're 30. Unless you are disabled and have some sort of situation, your mom should not be calling up the doctor's office requesting your medication and all kinds of stuff like you're a grown man you should know what you need you can't be that busy and it kind of just irks me because i'm like you know if you don't take care of your own health you know that's kind of your business so but you're a 30 year old grown ass man and you need your mom to call the doctor's office for you Damn. Go ahead, Greg. What you, what you feel about that? No, I mean, um, I, 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 I guess <laughs> maybe it could be a situation where <clears throat> if you ever watch the game and uh, what's what's the guy's name that has the mom oh, as a manager? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. She could be the manager, you know, handling his um stuff. But he is a mama's boy, too. He's a mama's boy. Yeah, I'd probably hire someone else if it was that <laughs> route. But, I mean... No, I mean, you some know, people I just... Are, some people are really attached. No, I, I heard go. a story where a kid... <laughs> was going to college and he wanted his mom to travel out of state with him to relocate and find a job and I'm like bro get a life you know what I'm saying and she's like I'm thinking about it I don't know if I could I'm like really? yeah like she was thinking about taking a leave of absence because uh -uh, no, she no, didn't know no, whether no, no, or not she got fine that's just too you, much like, just, too just, much. just cut it stop the stop baby and these grown men you know, I tell this lady on my job, I'm like, yo, so how are your kids? I got kids, they're adults. Well, you treat them like kids, so. <laughs> yeah, I mean, what do you want they're me not to do? gonna learn. <clears throat> Excuse me, they're not gonna learn. You gotta, like, cut that umbilical cord, you know. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. At some point, just, you gotta let it go. Yeah. All right, so. 1877. <laughs> 1422. Just to reiterate the topic, we're talking about exes. 
X is not just the ex, but we're talking about the family of exes. Is it cool for like, you know, you to be cool with your ex's family, vice versa? Is it cool? What are the okay parameters, I would say? Yeah, or what, what, are the boundaries? what are the boundaries? We, that we, we can, need to know. Yeah, like. we need to know. We need your <laughs> feedback to help us out. We're going to take a quick break. Yes. And we're going to come right back with some more, uh, with more discussion. And we'll be right Shout out to my main people. <laughs> People in Maine, shout out to you. Snowflakes, hey. Yes. We'll be right back.